So, postman's been brought me what I believe to be the XE609T control. Uh, I've already removed two layers of packaging. I'm gonna open the box for the first time and have a wee look. So, yep, it looks like it's fairly well packaged. It's uh, More hands. Right, so it's lightweight. My hands are quite big, but uh, it'll do for the small form factor of my wee lathe. XCMCU CNC series XE six oh nine T. So. Um, Feels like cheap plastic with a sort of pin seal type effect. It doesn't even feel like a good pin seal either. So we have a USB port over here covered by this flimsy rubber boot. Uh, at least it'll hopefully help to keep some sort of dust out of it. As you can probably hear, I'm quite dosed at the moment, so apologies. Oh, satisfying. So, the buttons are in English and what I assume was Chinese. It's not a bad looking control for, for something so small. It's not great looking, but it's even worse. Right, on the back, we have got four DB25 headers and this power connector here. So 24 volt and ground for main power. Inputs here. That's quite neatly... Uh, Annotated five volt. Step and direction signals. Output port. Spindle and other. That's not bad, really. That's 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 quite neat. So as you can see over here. 24 volt DC made in China. We have this well, which looks like some DB25. Yep, plugs. We all need to solder up for the specific uses, which is handy. It's good to get those. But there is. There appears to be only two though in the box. Unless I've chucked it. Oh. No, there's no two. There is indeed four. So that one is female. This one is also female. And then these two should be male. That's male. And that is also male. So yeah, I'm going to apply some power to it and see if I can get this thing to play ball. And that's the end. See you all later.